Hey guys, so today we're gonna do an unboxing of a package that I don't yet possess. I need to go to the post office and get it. It's a package coming from Romania from Ana Maria and I don't remember what's in that package because this was planned a long time ago but Ana was super busy with her exams and everything so I just completely forgot what's in that package. I just remember it's something good, something has buds. So today I'm gonna take you along with me. Mind you, I'm not a good vlogger so I'm not sure how much I will vlog on the way but yeah, sure, let's give it a go why not alrighty no more chit chat let's do this let's go to the post office I don't think I can drive and film though we're alive we made it I have no idea how people vlog because I already got the stairs and I feel so embarrassed and so cringy it's like last night we went for drinks and I had my usual vodka orange. I think this time they put half the glass vodka, maybe more than half a glass. And I have the worst hangover today. My head just, oh, I, never again, never. And we're back, but we're gonna be even more back after I take a painkiller because things are not funny anymore. Alrighty, let's get to work. So these are some orchids that Anna helped me purchase. We kind of did a common order, if I'm not mistaken, at Orchids and More. I'm not completely sure. This was about two months ago, <laughs> I think. So yeah, I have been waiting for these orchids for a lot of time. You might already know if you're watching Miracle Orchids, I'll share with you down below in the description her uh, YouTube channel. She had, oh, oh my, oh no, something broke. Oh no, um, alrighty. Let's compose ourselves, shall we? So if you don't already know, she has had her uh, exams in a different city so she had to stay there for I think almost a month or so but everything is okay as far as I know congratulations Anna and thank you so much for helping me with these orchids I know what this is and I think I'm not entirely sure if it was my fault or not but I think it was sadly I lost one of the buds this is a Catlia that she recommended that I absolutely have this is the Catlia Siam Jade Awo Owo. I'm not sure how to pronounce this. This means it is a peloric orchid. This is a beautiful green Catlia with a wonderful white lip, but mine is peloric and it has her own variety name. Um, so she will have multiple white petals. I'm not entirely sure if I prefer this. To be fully honest with you, I, I love green flowers. But look at her. Anna told me she was producing buds. This, this doesn't look like I broke it, does it? I don't even know. I might have already broken um, one of the buds, but it's okay, I have three buds to enjoy. This is supposed to have a absolutely fantastic fragrance, and I think it's Anna's favorite, so I totally trust her. Yeah, cannot wait for this one to bloom, and look at her, she is so big. She has a new growth as well, lovely roots. Uh, yeah, really happy with this one, but this is one I remember I purchased. Whatever's left in the box, your guess is as good as mine. Oh, I just remembered another one. I do have a brassavola here. <laughs> Yay, brassavolas. Okay, found the brassavola. Here we go. Oh, this is lovely actually. So yeah, this is purchased from Orchids and More. And this lovely creature right here is the brassavola David Sander. If I'm not mistaken, it's Sanders. Maybe this is a typo or my memory is just taking a break right now. So this is a brassavola that I kind of always wanted. It has a certain shape that I really, really like. It has a bigger flower and has droopy petals. It's pretty similar to the cuculata, which is hands down my absolute favorite brassavola, standalone, not hybridized brassavola, that I love. It has, in my opinion, the strongest fragrance, the most beautiful flowers. Foliage-wise, yes, it's not the best, but I absolutely love that brassavola and I lost it in the Fusarium crisis last year. Um, and I've been looking for it ever since. I'm also looking for... Okay, I think the name is Yaki Black. I know, sounds weird, but that's the name. And it's not a black brassavola, I wish. It's just a very purple and sometimes even deep purple brassavola. The David Sander uh, is not a purple brassavola. It could be a little pink, but it's very similar to the Cuculata. Also, the foliage is a bit more attractive on the David Sanders, and I think it's a great replacement for my Cuculata. I do, I do really like it, and this one seems to be in quite good condition. She will not bloom this year because she's not yet mature she's near blooming size so maybe the next year with a bit of luck fingers crossed we'll see a bloom alrighty those were the orchids sorry pretty disappointing but I totally forgot about this package and what was in it 
Fear not though, we do still have two new orchids that I would like to show you because they're quite special. And take that with a grain of salt, all orchids are special to me. Okay, so first orchid is a Cattleya type, but a unique Cattleya in my opinion. This is the Sophro Cattleya Chester. And you will obviously have a picture of this orchid on the screen. I purchased this orchid from Catacetum 2 in Poland, which is currently uh, my favorite seller, for the wonderful price of 14 euros. This is a miniature type of Cattleya, so Phornitis in general are a different genre that are not very popular, as far as I can tell, in the orchid hobby. It's pretty hard to find them as well for sale. And so Phornitis orchids split into two groups. Some are more warm growing, some are more uh, cool growing. Sadly, this hybrid has the cool grower in its parentage. However, it has been hybridized with the Cattleya, so I'm guessing that it became a little bit more tolerant to intense heat, or should I say warm temperatures. And I thought, hey, if my Vitalina did absolutely wonderful and she's supposed to be a cooler grower, then maybe this will do great as well. So it is, I suspect, almost blooming size or near flowering size. Maybe this growth will be mature, but I'm not entirely sure. I really don't expect her to bloom anytime soon, but I hope she's a fast grower because have you seen those flowers? Did you see like the, the orange and with the striations that are kind of yellowish and it, it just looks like it caught fire? Yeah, it's, um, it's wonderful. As far as I know, not fragrant, but with such a flower, I really couldn't care less about the fragrance. I just want this orchid to do okay and to bloom because it is hands down the most beautiful Sophronitis that I've ever seen. And lastly, an orchid that is a little bit of a mystery. If you remember last week, I told you that I ordered from an eBay seller I've never ordered before. And I was kind of nervous because the prices are pretty big. Orchids look fantastic in the pictures, but there were a few things that made me put off ordering or trying the seller. And to top it all off, he's from Germany. So transport was two weeks for this orchid. Uh, but it's okay, it arrived in good condition and I have to say the orchid looks wonderful. Now I purchased this orchid <laughs> with the title of Neo Phoenicia Hybrid Something with a Rainbow Dream and sparkles and hearts and all of those things. It's not that, I suppose. You have the picture on the screen, I know what this is. I mean, I think I know because it's a pretty popular orchid. I think this is the Ascofinidia peaches and I'm not sure why I pronounced it like that. So, peaches. This orchid can have a few variations in the flowers color-wise. It can go from a peachy color, like the name suggests, to a more deep magenta-ish color. Maybe this has something to do with temperature, maybe with the particular individual. I have no idea, but I know that this orchid can be deep dark magenta uh, pink. And as you can see, the picture that advertised this orchid was exactly that color. Will this orchid bloom like that? I have no idea. I hope so, but it's such a pretty color that I'm not entirely sure. I will do my research and I'll see if this orchid blooms in accordance to her environment, if she can have different colors depending on the season perhaps. I, I don't know much about this orchid, except that she's a cross between the Neo Phoenicia and the Ascosenda, which I suppose is a Vanda now, and the Neo Phoenicia is a Vanda again, so this is not an Ascosenda anymore, it's a Vanda, so Vanda Peaches, maybe? I'll link it down below to the seller, but don't take this as a recommendation. It is the first time that I ordered from the seller. I did not give a feedback yet because I want to see how this orchid blooms. Now, if it's gonna have a slight variation of color, of course, I will not give a bad rating. I'm not that absurd. But if it turns out to be white or blue, if it's the Neo Stylist Lucinary, for example, even though it's a beautiful orchid, Kid, it's obviously not what I purchased. But that's my own thing and as you can see the seller has really really good reviews. Uh, furthermore, I was tempted to try because of the reviews. Also, I have a viewer, Hele, here. Oh, I butchered your name, I'm so sorry. Hele, who told me that I will not be disappointed because the orchids are really really good. So I'm not gonna go ahead and judge, it's just that I cannot fully recommend the seller like I can recommend my previous sellers that I have been ordering from for three or four years already. You know what I mean? In that way. Alrighty guys, so this was the video for today. Hope you've enjoyed it. Vlogging and driving? Pretty hard to do, especially when people look at you and wonder if you're crazy. And especially if you're me and you cringe a lot. So I don't know. I tried, okay? I tried. I had to try. So thank you so much for watching. Hope you've enjoyed it. And you know the drill. If you did enjoy the video, please give it a thumbs up. If you hated it, give it a thumbs down. Subscribe to my channel for regular orchids and plants videos. And don't forget to turn on notifications so you never miss a video. And with that said, I'll see you all next time. Bye. In the distance, underneath roots and leaves, 
in the deep foliage of the forest. We have a bud, and this is a bud coming from, <laughs> uh, what's your name? Laleocatlia jungle eyes. If you don't remember this girl, she only bloomed once for me. I have her for quite a few years already, three years or so. Only bloomed once. She's a beautiful girl, skipped last year. She really didn't like the move. And this year, finally, we have a bud. She's slightly finicky. She really doesn't like change all that much. 